Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing my Luma Crate for the month of March. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get um, opening it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's see what's inside. So there's that. So this month's theme was Live Like Legends. So there's that. Also notice that these are made a lot cheaper um so it's just spoilers and stuff but they're made just on regular paper so that's really interesting but whatever so the first thing i see here is this um which is a left box um i received one of these before from their other box after light a couple months ago but i actually like this one better is this design on here which i think looks nice um so it's a nice little lunchbox here um so yeah i think i probably get some use out of this one um because i actually do like the style of this one a bit more so there's that it's pretty small but pretty good so yeah there's that and i also think this box is all um fandom neutral so yeah so the next thing we have is this box here, which is um, Olympus and the Underworld Collectible Teapot. Um, so there's that. And then here's the box. I think it's very nicely designed. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, shall we? Okay. So we have the top here. So here's a teapot, it's very, very small. So this is just gonna be decorative, but it is very, very nice. I do like the design of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, well, it's okay. <laughs> um, I don't like it that much. I think it's just fine. The art is okay. Um, the underworld side of it is kind of ugly to be honest. And then I feel like this side with the phoning I just think there's way too much foiling. It's kind of hard to see and tell, but let's see what exactly is on there. But it, I think it's fine. It's just an okay item for me, and it's just gonna be de decorative um, on my show. So there's that. Um, and then we have our next item here, which is this, which I am very excited for because. I know this is one of their book pots, which I like receiving their book pots. I think they're very, very nice. And I have a lot of stuff. Um, so I like to use these. Um, yeah. So here it is. It is orange this, this time, and it is Greek myth, a collection of Greek myths. So here it is. I think it's very, very pretty. I like it quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to, um, put stuff on, uh, um, side of it. Um, it's very, very pretty and I like it a lot. Okay. So then we're just down to one more item. Um, and it's another sticker sheet. Um, Fairly also had a sticker sheet in their March box and so does, um, a little great. So there's that. I think I prefer the Fairly one, but again, I'm just not a fan of receiving sticker sheets in monthly boxes just because they're very cheaply made um and whatever but i think um for lumen crate this month i it makes sense because of the teapot the book pot and the lunch bag it's like most of the money went towards that so i'm okay with getting a sticker sheet from them for this month because i think those items are pretty good but yeah so now we have the book here um they got rid of their yellow bag they're not using them no more um which I don't know why, because I like them, so whatever, it's okay. So this month's book is Lies That We Sing to the Sea by Sarah Underwood. So, yeah. So here is the cover. There's a lot of gold happening on the cover, but I think it looks pretty good. Then we have the spine here, which looks nice, and the back cover. A lot of gold um but i think it looks pretty good and then the top we just have blue spread edges and them on the bottom and then on the edges here um 
I think it's very pretty. There's a little boat. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. I really like that just here. Um, so yeah, this is very pretty to me. So I do like it. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket. Um, so we have this on the naked part back here, which um, just has gold foiling on it. Um, I think it looks nice. There's the spine. And then here's the back side of the book. Um, I think it looks pretty good as well. They're the same on the front and back, but they're very pretty. Then we have the end pages here, which I like, and it's also signed by the author. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back, we have um, um, different end pages. And also they have quota foiling on the end pages, which I love when they do foiling on the end pages. Um, and the end papers, I think they're very, very cool looking. So yeah, there's this month's box for Loom Crate. I think it's overall a pretty decent box. Um, it's fine. I know a lot of more people will like this box more than I did. Um, I just really care about the book pot, to be honest. The lunchbox will be useful, I guess, but like I don't need one. I already have like a lunchbox for work, um, but that's okay. And then the teapot, I don't really care for it. It's just going to be nice um, decor on my shelves. But yeah, so there's the book. Let me know your thoughts on the book and on the items. Um, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.